Yes, now it has started. Yeah. Good afternoon. Very good afternoon, ma'am. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you so much for asking. How about you? I'm also good. What's uh, going on? I see you are outside. Yes, I'm in the park right now because at home there were some issues like making a noise by the uh, by the children, those who were playing. That's why I thought I would go. Okay, right okay. So every time whenever you have a conversation with anyone, you go out, right? Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not calm, calm places or quiet places where I can talk with someone. That's why this mm -hmm. type of situation caused me to go outside. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, get it. So uh, we are meeting for the very first time, so I would like to know about yourself. Exactly, ma'am, and thank you for giving this opportunity. Well, my name is Aman Kumar. Basically, mm -hmm. I hail from Bihar, but for the past uh, for the past 10 to 12 years, I have been living in Delhi, the capital city of India. Mm -hmm. Talking about my education background, then I would say I've done my graduation with BA program. But currently, I am pursuing ME, that is Master of Arts in English, and it's my first year when I got enrolled in the Master of Arts courses. And apart mm -hmm. from learning, apart from learning English, I am teaching the students as well, like how they can speak English. Like the same thing, I am teaching them. Whatever I'm observing, oh. whatever I'm learning, I'm just sharing mm -hmm. my knowledge to others as well. Mm -hmm. It's all about mm -hmm. great, great. That is good that you are sharing uh, whatever you are learning, you are teaching as well. So uh, what are your hobbies, if I may ask? Hobbies is, ma'am, uh, I really like listening to the motivational word videos and the audios as well. Whether it is mm -hmm. a form of audio form or the video form. But I like listening to the motivational line or the quotations. That should be related only uh, related to the motivational. OK, OK, OK. So is uh, this is the only thing that you do in your laser time? Exactly. OK, don't you play anything? Like no, now it is. I think uh, when when person grows or reaches at the level where you you or your parents have to manage the things, handle the situation about your family and the uh, brothers or other some some other things are as well that you yourself have to manage the things. Then you stop doing the bullshit things. Like I'm not saying that playing is a bad thing, but it can be bad mm -hmm. for the person who has a lot of responsibility or the things to manage. Instead of focusing on the work we are playing, it will definitely get nothing. That's what mm -hmm. I. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, let me introduce you myself first. So okay. it would be good for you. So okay. I think you know my name. My name is Azni Verma, and I'm from Sri Ganganagar, Rajasthan. That is on the border of Punjab. Sri Ganganagar is on the border of Punjab. So and uh, yeah, I have done my graduation in Korean language from JNU. New Delhi and right now I'm in Jaipur and working on both the languages on Korean and English, especially speaking skills. Yeah. And uh, if I talk about my hobbies, I love reading books and I love singing and painting too. Yeah, that's it about me. And uh, as you mentioned, your name is Aman, right? So may I know the meaning of this name? Aman means like calm. The patience, the person who is being patient in order to take mm -hmm. any action or in, a, in order to do anything. The person who is really calm or the patient mood, that is called, mm -hmm. I think, um, means simply um, we, if we say in Hindi, Sant, the person who is the mood of the Sant or calm. That's mm -hmm. what I get. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, in which language? It is in Urdu or Sanskrit or what? Aman. When it is Hindi, of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. Aman. Okay. What's, what's, mm -hmm. I just want to. I just want to ask a little bit question. Yeah, sure. First of all, we would start with your academic qualification. What your academic qualification has been? Mm -hmm. As I mentioned, like uh, I have done graduation in Korean language, and uh, uh, during schools I had arts, like in eleventh. 12th year. How did you complete your 12th class? 
I mean, in twelfth class or the eleventh class, what were the subjects that you were learning? History, geography, and economics. I wasn't that much interested in that. That's why I left after twelfth. <laughs> how did you come up with the? Uh, how did you come up with the point where you got yourself or identified yourself that you need to work on the English communication skills? What were the things that made you? Learn only this language because there are some other languages as well. As you are pursuing Korean language as well, you are mm -hmm. too much. You are too much good at that as well. Why did mm -hmm. you choose to learn this language? If you English. Say, yeah. First, I love this language very much. Whenever I listen to different people uh, speaking in English, I enjoy thoroughly, like watching different people, especially Jay Shetty. Ankur Varikum. Ankur Varikum speaks in Hindi, but yeah, sometimes when he does live on Instagram, there people discuss a lot of things about passion, about what they are doing in life, what are the failures, and how to overcome all of these. Because you know, in Hindi, there are this is like you know limited. We can listen uh, limited people, like some people, but if you know English, and if you are a person who enjoys listening. to different people and different perspective on a particular topic you know then you need to be perfect good in english first thing second first like i mentioned you i love this language and even in my story my journey of learning this language i mentioned that when i fell in love with this language when first time i heard this language uh from my teacher at that time it sounded something different it wasn't english for me like listening to english is not english for me i think because english at that time english was something different like a subject and learning grammar and mugging questions and answers for exams and all that so english was different for me and for speaking and whenever i listen to different people that is totally different for me so i fell in love with this language and after that you know as i started my graduation from jharkhand central university of jharkhand and then jnu and all that so during this period i faced a lot of difficulties too i loved i loved to listen but i wasn't able to speak so then now like after corona after this pandemic i decided now i think i am listening a lot i'm reading i know many things but i don't know how to speak so i just started taking sessions on clapping but that's why i learned this language except learning korean language or you are learning english language you are working on two languages simultaneously right first of all on on uh, learning on, on the learning language where you are learning korean language or the english language except doing two activities what exactly you do in your leisure time or the free time whenever you get time being at home what do you prefer to do mm -hmm. in general routine you can say uh -huh, uh -huh. uh yeah right so as i mentioned i love reading books and in this 2023 i set a target for myself like i have to read for 2 hours every day and i have to complete many books because uh i'm listening different people i'm listening to different people so whenever i listen to a famous personality i found like okay he has also written a book she has also written a book so i am fond of uh, you know know about their ideas their mindset how they are growing how they are doing in this life so that's why that is the thing that i do and sometimes like i love singing so i do that also for myself <laughs> because i love myself too and uh, not doing painting i love doing i love painting but i am not doing this so i think this is the only thing and i watch english series and sometimes k dramas not uh, every time but sometimes and you know english series in like in my daily routine now so i do this for learning purpose right yeah learning purpose okay and like i have seen so many videos of yours on youtube channel that you have already interacted with so many people so mm -hmm. i just want to know, i just want to know about you that what are the things that make you different from others how do you estimate yourself i think this is uh, all about the people who are watching me i think i cannot say like i am this much different i am doing this kind of different things in my life and you know every person have a dis different perspective towards me so i think you can tell me better than me like what do you 
feel like I'm different or I'm similar or I have a different quality because uh, some people said, uh, mailed me like, okay, uh, I like your way of speaking and I like the way you uh, deliberate your thoughts uh, very calmly or simple and easy to understand. So I think this is different because this channel is just about English. So as a person, I'm different. I, I because any, no one knows about me like as a person, what kind of person I am. But, but this channel is just about English. So you can people can judge me on this language, I guess. A lot of people are already judging you or knowing about you. But I just want to know your, your own perception. What exactly you think about yourself? Like there are some things that you may be doing better rather than others. You may be speaking mm -hmm. better according to yourself, according to your opinion. So what is that thing that makes you different than others? Because you are really working hard in your life, in your journey, at your home, uh, by making videos, by interacting with the people. What are the things that you think about yourself? That yes, this is something that cannot be found in other person. That, that, is, that, is, that can only found in you. So what are the things? Do, uh, have you ever tried to estimate yourself or figure out things? What's you and what the strength of yours? Have you ever thought about it? Somewhere, I guess I'm motivating as well, like uh, girls and housewives. Like I received mails from housewives and they are saying like, you are doing good. And, you know, uh, this is something that makes, makes us to take one step for ourselves. So I think that was, uh, when I started my channel, that was also my motto. Like I want to, and I want to, you know, motivate different people, especially girls. So this is also in my mind. So somewhere I think I am different in this way, and I am trying my best to motivate people. And means yeah, you, I like my way of speaking. It means you find yourself as the person who can, who can convey his his or her thought to others in order to make them motivated in, or, in order to make them feel better so at yeah. that at that moment you are good at that right mm -hmm. that's what i wanted to know okay <laughs> and now i'm done with questions now it's your turn you may ask anything okay, okay okay so you prepare these one, questions for me you no know, i have one or two questions as well that uh, that is running in my mind but i'll i'll uh -huh. ask later, later on uh-huh uh -huh. okay so uh, what are the things that you do in your leisure time? As you mentioned, I think you just listen to different people. What else? Like, like talking about my general routine, what actually I do in my leisure time or the free time, whenever I get free time. Mm -hmm. as, I, I have, as I have already mentioned that uh, uh, I, I come from Bihar and right mm -hmm. now I'm living in a Delhi. So here my, father mm -hmm. is, here my father is working as a grocer who sells the vegetables. We have our mm -hmm. uh, we have our vegetable shop. So my father sells the vegetables. In order to bring the vegetables and some other steps that are really uh, that is those are really important to uh, to be at the shop. So first of all, mm -hmm. I have to go to the market in the morning time. Like uh, I leave my house uh, after seven a.m. in the morning for the market, and uh, it mm -hmm. uh, it takes me takes me around two or three hours to come back from the market. So after coming back from the market, I get free time. In that free time, I simply uh, go for the uh, for go go for the souring. I take a sour after that. Then I have my lunch or food, whatever it is. After after having done all these things, I go for the study. So I do study for only one or two hours, not too much, because it is not it, it is not uh, it is not cup of tea for me to study for a longer time. Sometimes I get mm -hmm. also bored. Because theoretical things cannot give you the positive vibes. You are just mm -hmm. going to be confused or the bored. If you are just studying or reading something continuously without taking any pose, without uh, understanding the concept in the right manner, at that moment you might be feeling what I'm doing, what the silly thing I'm doing. So at that moment, uh, this kind of things stops me to do the things. And after that, I think oh, now I should have a conversation with someone to my practice mm -hmm. purpose and uh, for my YouTube channel as well. As I've already mentioned that I'm running a YouTube channel where I also keep uploading videos related to English conversation. It's not been a long time since I started my YouTube channel where I'm posting the videos related to English. It will only one or two weeks. 
Okay, okay, okay. And in the evening time, I go to the class where I first I take class for myself, where I where I am learned by the teacher. And another classes, there are two classes as well. In which classes I teach the students. So whatever I learn from there, from the single class, I teach them simply, and whatever the knowledge I have. Okay, one second, one second. So as you mentioned first that you teach. OK, so what are the methods that you use in your class like while teaching? Like I always give the preference uh, to teach the students in different manner because I have seen so many teachers, those who are teaching the students or students are being taught by the teacher. It is not the right approach. Teachers are not teachers are not using the correct uses or the approach of the teaching. But still they are teaching students are being taught by the by them. That's the main reason why uh, why rest of the people or rest of the students those are not being comfortable or confident while holding a conversation with someone because they do not know how to speak it. They know everything, each and everything of the grammar. If if you go mm -hmm. to that person or that student and if you ask any, anything, they will definitely tell you this is the thing and it can be used. But when it comes to speaking, when it comes to uh, expressing the thoughts or the feelings, whatever they he or she ha is having, they will be stuck at that moment. They will start fumbling, stammering. Why? First of all, the reason what why they stop, why they start fumbling or the stammering, because they have never tried to speak it out. Because speaking comes by only speaking. There is no any mantra. There is no techniques that can that can make you speak. What mantra is there? Only speak. If you want to speak, mm -hmm. you will have to speak. Doesn't yes. matter. Doesn't matter. You have plenty of a bundle of knowledge about the English. It is. Mm -hmm. It is just useless for you. What matters for us? What matters for the people? Those who really want to convey his or her thought in this language only, they will have to speak. Any circumstance mm -hmm. doesn't matter. So this is the method that one should follow in order to speak. In order to you know. In order to decrease the level of fearing. Like they always think and one one thing that uh, that I have observed in my life and I have seen so many people why they are afraid of speaking in front of others. They think what the other people will think about them. Other people to be very honest, other people will think nothing about you. They do not have yeah. time to think about you. They yes. will think only about themselves. They are doing mm -hmm. whatever they are doing right now in front of you. Whether I'm talking to you, there are, so, there are so many people, those who are sitting in front of me right now and they are not far from me. But still, I'm doing my work. I know what is my work, what I need to do here, why I have come here. Instead of doing my work, instead of focusing my work, that is essential for me. That is crucial mm -hmm. for me. And I'm just mm -hmm. being focused that, oh man, I'm talking to, I'm, I'm speaking English right now. The people are looking at me. What might they be thinking about me? Why do I need to care about the, the, those people? I need mm -hmm. to care only about myself, what I'm doing, who I am, and what exactly I need. To be better, to be a, uh, to be what exactly I want in my life. To be focused on your own work, what exactly you are working, and what you are, what you have been working for your career. And the second mm -hmm. one is try to implement the things, whatever the knowledge, whatever the information you have related to English, related to any subject. Like you have been, you have been learning Korean language. There might, there must be a certain reason why you are learning. Mm -hmm. Try to implement them in practical ways, not only be uh, be focused uh, only uh, to learn the things. Try to implement it, use it in the practical way. Only then you will be confident. You will be feeling yes, I I have done something in my life. Otherwise, mm -hmm. there is there is no lack of information. You can get everything. A lot of things are there, but everything mm -hmm. is not everything is not meant to be learned. Things are meant to be learned. Things are meant to be as it is. But mm -hmm. first of all, figure out yourself now what who you are mm -hmm. and try to grab how much knowledge you require. What mm -hmm. exactly the things that you require to be what exactly you want to be and then try to start working on that. That is only the mantra that I have felt that I have observed in my life. That's what. OK, you said it very well, explained it, but uh, where, what I I'm feeling right now is whatever you are saying is just 
like you know for us like i realized you realized we know right. this but the student who didn't realize yet who didn't know about this mm. and who are just in this feel like we don't like english but we need to learn this language so i asked you to how to you know what the technique we can use to make them love this language and learn this effortlessly you know whatever you are mentioned the points that are applicable just for the students who are already in this phase who already understood it okay i need to do this now because i when i will speak that will gonna work for me nothing else will gonna work for me but there are many students who didn't know who don't even know about it who don't even know the method who don't even know the idea like this is a language and this is very simple we just need to start whatever we know how much we know if we are making mistake no don't worry about this what what the people are thinking because we are in this phase now okay we right. are learning we know this like people will judge okay because they are just with us for maybe for one year and even you are here and the people who are watching you are just for 5 minutes or 10 minutes around you after that no so we understand this now but what about the people who don't even understand this students who don't even know about this so how do you make them to learn this language effortlessly like see if students is there who who is really eager to speak this language i'm talking about only speaking this language mm -hmm. i just want to give the recommendation to those students all those who are really eager to learn this language especially to yeah. speak it for speaking purpose yeah. they should mm -hmm. whatever the knowledge about the grammar whether they may know about the tenses modals whatever the information they have they try to implement in their life like they know about mm -hmm. english they should start they they should start their speaking journey with the help of tense only they do not need to focus on the other grammar as well and if if they do so then they will think oh there are modals modals grammar is also there active passive is also there. after completion of all the grammar structures i'll be able to speak in english no nothing is going to happen what we need to do just start speaking whatever the knowledge you have right you have yes. the knowledge of only tense then start if you know the present in yes. the present indefinite tense then you can start narrating the story or talking about the routine because routine mm -hmm. activities can be done only in present indefinite tense whether you yes. where you, where you can start speaking for an example today i have learned about present indefinite right now mm -hmm. so present in, with the help of present indefinite i will be able to tell or narrate the story about the daily routine general routine what i do mm -hmm. for an example mm -hmm. i have learned present indefinite now i'm going to tell you or narrate the story that in the morning i get up at 6 o'clock i go to the market i listen to the music i read for a while i take mm -hmm. a shower these kind of things mm -hmm. they can start doing because they have mm -hmm. learned only they have learned only about present indefinite tense now mm -hmm. the next day comes when the next day comes now in the next day they will learn about present continuous they will learn about present perfect tense so yeah. gradually when they are reaching the level of the grammar structure mm -hmm. try to use them in the practical way and once they start speaking the level of fear being joy, the level of fear being make mistake that if I, uh, what the what the what the beginner students think that uh, i know only tenses and what is the use of tenses tenses has covered a lot of speaking parts it it can cover the, i think 60 to 70% of our speaking part with the help mm -hmm. of tense we can express our thought what mm -hmm. we are doing right i think most of the grammar structure that uh, that is being used by uh, by each other by you and me we are using most of the uh, most of the tense or uh, there are some uh, structures as well where we are using modals active passive and some structures as well so they should start with the minimum knowledge that they have and gradually they will start uh, they will learn day by day that's how mm -hmm. they can start that that's what i think mm -hmm. okay okay great great to hear that and as you mentioned you are doing masters in english i guess right master mm -hmm. of arts first year mm -hmm. so uh, i am also planning to do the same but uh, i'm a little bit confused so could you tell me a little bit about this degree Yeah, well, Master of Arts uh, is a basic, uh, basically for two years diploma, where you yeah. learn about the particular language. Like I am pursuing MA, Master of Arts. So here mm -hmm. I am, I am getting the information about the English. How did mm -hmm. the English come in India? 
it will depend on the subject what the subject you are going to choose before getting admission in ma and once okay. you get the once you get the subject yes this is a this is a particular subject whether i choose mm -hmm. english history political in which stream you are pursuing it you are going to get a good command over this language over the particular subject and once mm -hmm. you done it then you will be able to take uh, you will be able to give the entrance of neat i think you must have heard about neat after completion mm -hmm. of neat you you are re you are ready to be a professional professional teacher for the uh, for the college purpose we can say mm -hmm. the lecturer the lecturer who mm -hmm. teaches in college so after completion of ma you can apply for the neat exam and once you clear the exam of the neat then you will be able to apply for the lecturer for the college okay that's what the knowledge i have regarding this topic mm -hmm. and okay. and, it's, and why i am pursuing it is not about getting government job because it's not my aim that i want to accomplish my life what i want to accomplish in my life i just want to be a language trainer where i'll be teaching the students how they can speak english. of course i want to be english language trainer mm -hmm. okay okay great yeah that is uh, like same my purpose is also same i'm not aiming to have a government job or anything like that but yeah somewhere i want to enhance this uh, you know english and communication skill and i know doing this ma in this is not going to help you but i am you know fond of reading a lot of books novels fiction everything so i think it would be good for me to read and be in the environment where uh, many students are learning with you and with the help of professor or anyone who, who will teach you that's why i'm planning to do it uh, yes. so now mm -hmm. please please go ahead go ahead you were saying something yeah i was saying that whatever the things you are doing if the things whatever you are doing right now in the right manner in the right approach with the right person with the right college with the right information mm -hmm. you will definitely get what exactly you are looking for and if yeah. you are not if you are not on the right path then you will get nothing to be very frank but because, now it's it's uh, you know you should have a mindset if i have this mindset i will be able to learn it in a good manner because right. there are many students who just join college and who just do without knowing anything so that is a different case but like us who is really willing to learn who is really willing to after understanding their self first and then they are joining so it i think it will be helpful so now it's a 28 minutes long video and now i think i we have to wind up it right here no worries no worries we'll yeah have another session as well mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and thank you so much for joining this session i enjoyed it thoroughly and i learned a lot of things and i know uh, people will who will watch this video they will also get to know a lot of things that you have shared about beginner uh, for beginners and for intermediate people will use the techniques that you have shared thank you so much i enjoyed it this session i also enjoyed while talking to you because you also mentioned so many things that i had never known about it and the mm -hmm. viewers who, whoever are going to watch this video they, they will definitely get to know so many things because here we have discussed so many things i think they might love or not because it's up to it's totally depends on the perception or the opinion of the people at mm -hmm. the at the, okay. by the end of the video i just want to say thank you for being here thank you for inviting me for this i really enjoyed thank you take care bye bye have a nice day yeah you too bye bye, bye, -bye.